Hi folks, I'm Raz and in today's video I'm going to share with you Alt Academic Writing Task 1 Overview in Practice. So let's begin. Alright, let's take a look at the two tasks. The first is the task one, report writing for academic, 150 to 180 words, 20 minutes. And the task two is essay writing for both academic and general, 250 to 280 words in 14 minutes. So friends, in this video, I'm going to share with you task one, report writing for academic. Now let's take a look at the task assessment. 25% uh, is for task achievement in which you need to answer everything you're asked to do in the question. The other 25% is coherence and cohesion. You need to use structured paragraphs and make standard expressions. The other 25% is lexical resource. You need to use wide range of vocabulary. And the last is grammar range accuracy. 25% include different kinds of sentences, ranging from simple, compound, and complex. And that's what I keep repeating in all my videos. All right, let's take a look at the task one report writing, 20 minutes, 150, 180 words, academic. All in all, we are going to segregate four different paragraphs. Paragraph one is an introduction. Para two is overview. Paragraph three is making analysis and group comparisons of different years. And paragraph four is making analysis and group comparisons of the remaining years. Now let's take a look at the types of graphs. So friends, we can get any graph like a pie chart, bar graph, line graph, flow chart, table. So if you want to describe facts and figures, you need to take help of bar graphs, describing trends through line graphs, comparison through tables and pie charts, describing a process diagram or a map, and describing a flow chart. So let's move on to the graph one of the video. Now here you should spend about 20 minutes. The pie chart below shows how much money is spent in the budget on different sectors by the UAE government in 2000. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. Write at least 150 words. Now let's take a look at the comparison of the pie chart. So let me present an idle answer that can help you score a good band. The pie chart illustrates the national expenditure by the United Arab Emirates government in 2000. Overall, the UAE government had a budget of over 300 billion AED, and the highest portion of this budget was spent on social security and health and social services. As is given in the diagram, the UAE government expended more than 300 billion AED on eight different pivotal sectors in 2000. Social security for the citizens cost the towering budget and it was exactly 100 billion AED. Health and personal social services, on the other hand, record more than 50 billion and this was the second largest budget money allocation for the UAE government in 2000. However, the UAE Authority used 38 billion for education, 17 billion for law and order, and 13 billion for jobs, industry and agriculture. In contrast, defense sector fetched 22 billion, which was slightly lower than the debt interest the government paid in this year. Whereas housing, heritage, and environment got 15 billion, which was nearly the same as it was allocated for law and order. Finally, 9 billion was exhausted on the transportation sector and 23 billion for other sectors, which are not specifically mentioned in the chart. All right, moving on to the graph two. You should spend about 20 minutes on this task. The charts below show the growth in the population in some of the world's largest cities, as well as the population distribution in urban and rural areas. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant, write at least 150 words. 
Now let's take a look at the combination chart. Now friends, here we have three different charts. First we have a bar graph, then we have a table, and then we have a line graph. Now the first one is for different countries and different years. The second is top five biggest cities by population, and the third is the word population in billions. So let me present an ideal answer that can help you score a good band. The bar graph compares the populace in five metropolitan areas in disparate years, while the table outlines the top five cities with the highest population in the world. Finally, the line graph juxtaposes urban and rural population distribution from 1980 to 2010. Overall, the population growth in Bombay and Jakarta was faster than that of other cities, and Tokyo City had the highest citizens in 2010. Moreover, a higher number of people started living in urban areas than rural areas after 2005. According to the bar graph, more than 15 million people lived in Tokyo in 1970, and that was higher than that of New York and Shanghai. Population in Bombay was one-third of the population in Tokyo this year, and Jakarta had 2.5 million people, the least among the given cities. The population in Tokyo, on the contrary, drastically rose to 27.6 million in 2010, and this was a city with the gigantic population. However, population growth in Bombay and Jakarta almost 5.5 times was unreasonably higher than any other city listed. In contrast, the table data shows that New York was the biggest city in the world in terms of its population in 1950, with exactly 12.5 million people whereas London and Tokyo stood at the second and third position in this list, while Moscow, with its 5.3 million people, was in the fifth position. In 2010, Tokyo became the significant city for its population, and interesting, Bombay occupied the second position in this list with 26.6 million people, though it was nowhere on the top five list in 1950. Finally, the line graph reveals that 3 billion people dwelled in rural areas in 1980, while less than 2 billion in cities. In 2010, the number of city living residents upsurged to over 4 billion, while it was slightly over 3 billion for rural people. Thank you friends for watching this video and keep watching more as writing videos and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.